it's me, Dr. Mara here, and uh, I'm at uh, Canoe Creek uh, State Park here in Pennsylvania. And uh, just wanted to come on and let me show you some sunshine above me here. Hopefully that's picking up. And uh, just talk a little bit about the upcoming days, what's uh, coming down the pike here, so to speak. And um, let's see, we have a full moon on the 16th coming up in a couple days. And then the spring equinox is on the 20th. And so just a reminder for the um, uh, full moon, put out your crystals, get them charged up. And uh, maybe take advantage of that, uh, that energy that's coming through. I hear some uh, crows. Just, I don't know if you can see them. <laughs> They were over at Glendale. Hopefully you can see that. I'm going to have to pull out my Teddy Andrews again because I didn't look the other day. And as you can see, I'm hiding behind this building because of the wind it's blowing. But you can see the sun and the, the crows are quite active here. And as far as uh, the wildlife we got going here today. fishing, ice fishing, we talked about that the last time, so I'm not going to talk about that anymore, just a quick reminder and an update, get you out into uh, nature here, and uh, you can hear these leaves rolling around, pretty soon that will be a thing of the past, as the uh, old kind of dwindles and fades away, we'll be into the new energies of the spring equinox, the new beginnings, and as you surrender and release yourself and what no longer works in your life, energetics that are stagnating, things that aren't moving in a forward direction, we're not heading in reverse. We're not, I mean, you can look back just, and it's actually helpful sometimes to look back because you can see how far you've come. But to dwell in the past, it uh, holds you back from your highest potential. So I would recommend to uh, look for your future. What's what's right around the horizon for you? Uh, also, in the current moment of now, which is the best place to be, um, is, is there anything that uh, is holding you back or are you holding yourself back from your highest potential? And sometimes people come into your life and uh, they're a reflection of yourself. And uh, sometimes you don't see it that way. But... Uh, it just is what it is. I guess it's not always the case. There are many variables. So to try to explain all this on like one video uh, within a 15 minute time frame is uh, pretty much impossible. You almost have to have the, a direct communication with an individual. Uh, communication in and of itself can be limiting here with text and you don't get the uh, phraseology and the, uh, the tonality if you want to call it that of the person's voice, you don't see their expressions and, and therefore sometimes you misinterpret what the meaning of what they were trying to express. And uh, sometimes it's unfortunate that, uh, that we have that limitation, but it is a challenge and we're here to master you know, all aspects of ourselves, the mind, the body, the spirit, the emotional, and the energetic. So, yeah, there's some people, uh, different people have different opinions, and, you know, I value different people's opinions uh, of these videos. Although, if it gets too low, I just uh, erase it, and then I just uh, block you, because if it doesn't resonate, it's not in the greatest good of myself or the people that are viewing it, so I just erase it. Um, one of the things I just wanted to say briefly was about the last video I had mentioned that if things or people that are in your vibration that are holding you back, um, it's best to resolve it and then surrender and release it. But some of the comments, well, one particular had mentioned that uh, people uh, are too easily, uh, hmm, how should I say, they give their friends up too easily. And, you know, this... This whole experience is about you, every one of you that's out there. And so if it's not in your greatest good, 
And just to differentiate between the third dimensional point of view of all oh, just giving up on your friends or family, that's one way of looking at it, and it is valid. But from a higher perspective, from you know, say a fifth density, we are we are trying to reach our highest potential, and there are some things that hold us back, and some people that hold us back. And so, from a higher vantage point, it is it's just simply best to. Uh, Surrender and release and allow that to just go. And if you're stuck in a 3D frame of mind, then you could easily say that, oh, we give up too easily on our friends and family and, and they made us mad so we just gave up. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying use your discernment about where you are in, in, in your life, in your path. And, uh, you know, <laughs> it, it's it's funny, I counsel people daily on things like this. There are people that um, attract the same boyfriend or the same girlfriend over and over and over. And they try to escape themselves by traveling across the country and saying, okay, or in another part of the world and saying, okay, I'm going here, I'm getting out of this place. But what happens is you take you with you. And if you haven't done the inner work, you're going to attract the same person or a similar person. And so this is all free will. And so we all have choices to make. And if that person that came into your life to make those uh, changes uh, and to assist you in stretching yourself a little to better you and vice versa, if they don't choose through their own free will to assist you, there's no judgment there. It's all about free will and choice. Otherwise, we'd be puppets on the string. And so when I say that another person, another teacher, just like that with a similar vibration will come into your life, there's no judgment there. It doesn't mean that that uh, um, it's a bad thing. I mean, again, we live in polarity. This is the other variable. You could look at it as good or bad. It just is. So just to explain myself a little bit more, and uh, hopefully I can get this on a 15-minute video, but I'm not sure that I will. No, I don't have two parts to it. Um, as you respect yourself, your physical body, your energies, and everything like that, you start to look at what is in your greatest good. And, uh, you know, some people in a third dimensional way will say, well, that's selfish. Well, if it's in the ego mind, then yeah, it could be considered selfish. But if it's in a spiritual sense, if it's coming from your heart, what's in your greatest good? That's I'm trying to show you the differences between those points of view. Both points are valid. So I'm not saying the person that would be saying um, it, we give up too easily would be wrong. It isn't about right or wrong. It's, it's about where you stand in your perception or perspective. And so, I hope that uh, this video is coming out okay because I'm sitting around here pacing <laughs> as I'm talking and this stuff is just kind of streaming through me. So, and also the wind is, has, you know, it's coming and going here and the sun's right behind me. So I'm gonna turn this back around. Hopefully you can see. So, anyway, sending you guys love, light, and laughter, and I'll go home and put this all together and get it up on YouTube and then Facebook, and, um, you know, if you can, get out into nature. I'm going to probably sit here for a little bit and meditate. Um, it's a little windy for me to sit here and try to do a meditation for you guys. Uh, if you want that, you can contact me, uh, aguidinglight at gmail.com, L-I-T-E. Uh, I have two websites, universaltalk.info and uh, aguidinglight.com, which is L-I-T-E. You can find me on Facebook. Um, I get contacted from people all over the world, I'm telling you. It's, it's amazing, the technology. So again, we live in polarity, and some people say, oh, Facebook's all bad. And I got away from it, I got to be honest with you, for a while, because I'm like, hmm, there's some things on here that I'm not uh, appreciating. But then I had to rethink it. And, and think, hmm, well, wait a minute, there can be some good. And there's been some people that has, have helped me in my life's path and my soul growth and vice versa. And there's always an equal, equal exchange. So, again, sending you guys love, light, and laughter. And until next time, there's the sunshine for you. And welcome to the new beginnings. Until next time. Love you guys.